Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I had to do a video on my phone. So sorry for the quality if it's not great. My camera wasn't working and my computer didn't want to sync with it. So I just felt like, hey, let's not be lazy. Let's actually do a video and try it on my phone. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how I de-stress my jeans um, or turn them into jean shorts because I know they can be a little pricey. I know a good pair of Levi Distress shorts go for at least $80. Um, I'm going to show you the cheap way and the easy way. It is going to take some elbow grease, but I actually like doing this on my time off. So the first thing you're going to need is a pair of jeans. These are from the Salvation Army and I really like these because of the buttons that go down. As you could tell, these were in the men's section. They are going to be a little big, but you could put an elastic at the back and it like shrinks it a little bit. So I'm going to ask my grandma to do that because I don't have a machine these were ten dollars but the salvation army was having a sale and the all the clothes was two dollars so i decided to like rack up on all my jeans because i like to cut them and distress them and make it my own instead of buying them um these were in the men's sections like i said i already pre-marked where i want to cut my jeans my butt's probably right here so i want to cut it here what i'm really going to do is cut down a little bit like maybe right there just to have that extra cushion because I don't want to cut it at the line and then be like, oh my gosh, that was really short. I'd rather play it safe. And then if it's too long, I'll just fold them and distress it and sew it and make it look super cute. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. These are from Michaels. These are, I think it could do like multiple layers of fabric and this would be perfect for jeans. They're brand new. So it's gonna cut easily. So I'm super excited about that. You want sandpaper this is uh p320 i don't know if that's the number of the grains here's the back of it and you're gonna need some tweezers there's two different ways to like distress it um i found out the sandpaper not too long ago and i absolutely love it compared to tweezing i just feel like it gives you the more of that natural distress look so i'm going to show you both ways i'm going to show you how i cut them and just go from there okay so the first thing i did was i lined up the jeans you could see the mark of where I'm going to be cutting. You're going to grab your scissors and make sure everything is nice and flat. Everything is aligned and you want to fold it right in the middle. Everything going the same way. So since my line is here, I want to cut down a little bit like right here. So I'm going to start cutting from here. And as I get closer to my mark, you see how much of a gap I gave myself? Um, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I get to um, distressing and cutting. So once I cut this, I'll show you. There goes one leg and then you just follow along the next leg. Perfect. So now you have a pair of shorts, right? Okay, so here are your jean shorts. You could toss the leg part out. And obviously here's my mark. And what I like to do is I like to fold the jean. And you don't wanna get a pair of pants that are, are really fitted on you because you have to remember your thighs. Like when you sit down, your thighs are gonna look a little thickums so you don't want to um have them like splurging out and i feel like this is a great length it's not too short it's perfect so i'm glad i went a little longer than what i wanted so then i could fold them and then i like to make sure that they're aligned um, the first thing I like to do is pull off all the little fraying of the bottom of the shorts because trust me when I say um, you want to have a fraying right here. You want to take out all the white little strings of the denim because when you wash them and dry them, it's going to give you that like distress used look. And you just want to pull them all the way across. And I like to flip them onto the back and make sure you start at the end so you could pull one by one and it's easier. You don't want to start at the, the beginning of it. And 
and it's okay that some stop in the middle because I think having them like all over the place makes them even more cuter and more distressed looking. Okay, so with the piece of sandpaper that I told you you could get, um, you don't need a big piece of sandpaper. So I'm gonna, literally it's gonna be this small. Um, the last piece that I used was about the same size. Yeah, literally about the same size. I like to fold it in half. And what you wanna do is you wanna, uh, you always wanna get inspo. You wanna start off with what you want your shorts to look like. You, I have made the mistake where I've made like distressing or holes right here and totally forgot you could see my chonies. So you wanna stick to the pocket side. Um, you don't wanna go too deep because you also have to remember your pockets here. So you don't wanna go where you start making holes in your pocket. So I wanna say I want my holes to literally be this patch of white that you see. And it's gonna take you a while. Um, it's a lot of back and forth. And you literally just begin and just literally move back and forth. You're gonna start seeing the jean, like, I don't know if you can see that, but it starts falling apart. That is a good thing. You want that to happen. Pretend you're like sanding down wood. You want to do that with your jeans, but you want to go against the grain. You want to go where the white strings are. The white strings are going this way. Your jeans are going this way. So going against it. You could already see some of the peaking of the white strings. You want that look. Um, so just be careful that you don't sand so much in that area where you start sanding down the white strings and then they break. So look at that. You already have a little bit of the distressing. You could leave that little area right there and then you continue to do bigger ones going downwards. It does take time. I feel like the softer the jean material, the easier it is to get to the fraying of the whiteness. There's also another way that I learned the first time I did distressing of jeans. Um, how do I do it? I'm trying to figure out if I want to do that because I don't really like doing that look on these. I'm just gonna continue with the sanding of the shorts. You want to be careful you don't pull too tight where you break the string off. And then eventually you could just pull them off with your fingers. And as you could tell, like, let me try to get closer. You see how you could already literally pull these off. That makes it a lot easier on you if you just use your tweezers, try to pluck out the white strings and then take off the denim. Okay, so, so far this is what I have. Obviously it's gonna take me a lot longer. It's very time consuming to do this. If you do it with sandpaper, you could also do it by cutting them with scissors, I mean, cutting like an, a section um, where you wanna pluck out the blue um, phrase, but I feel like this, it doesn't give you the same effect as it does with this one. I'm gonna switch over to some shorts that I already pre-cut um, just because this is a lot of time to do. Um, it's not even where I want it, but look how beautiful it already looks. I want it to go a little bit deeper onto this side when it gets down here. So I want them to be a lot bigger and then I want to put some in the pocket and obviously right here I'm going to fray this out a lot too so it can look like they've been worn. Um, I mentioned that these are big and I was going to add like elastic. I got this from Michaels and I got it in the nude color where it was really comfortable and really thick. My grandma's going to be able to sew it on here like stretch it out and sew it so when it's not tight it does this it doesn't look so bad in the back she figures out a way where it doesn't like mess up the 
formation of the jeans, but let me show you the ones, uh, the pair of shorts that I already have done. So here is a pair of shorts that I already have done. Um, I, yeah, I did all this with sandpaper. It took me forever, but I feel like this is very soothing for me and it just looks really nice. I added some detail to the pot, like the bottom of there too. And once you wash them and dry them, I promise you they look a lot better. Here's like up close detailing of how it looks on the pocket. I like the peekaboo pockets. You could do less if you want, but these so far are very soft. When you have soft denim, um, you want it, You don't want need to use like a harsh sandpaper. You could just use a really soft one. It takes a lot of time, a lot of elbow grease, but I promise you they come out pretty. Um, but this is pretty much it, how I do my shorts. A lot, uh, a lot of people can't do it, but I enjoy doing this. This is this is fun, and I feel like if I'm gonna save some money, I'd rather do it here just because I know I'm capable of doing this. So this is how I do it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you guys how I did my distress denim jeans. A lot of people asked me to do a video on this and I just felt why not show you my knowledge. It is very time consuming. Um, the sandpaper eventually does like wear and tear on my fingers and they get really tired, but I just work through the pain or eventually just uh, continue the project the next day or anytime I have any downtime. But I feel like they come out very beautiful. Um, you, I, you will never catch me paying $50 for a pair of distressed um, shorts because I know I'm more than capable of doing it. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Leave me comments down below if you guys end up doing this look because this is something um, I want to see your project. I want to see how your shorts came out. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. See you guys next time. Bye.